PCMRP's powerful, easy to use, infinite bucket MRP module is the main reason companies purchase PCMRP to run their manufacturing operations. PCMRP's infinite bucket module examines your open sales orders, sales quotes, on-hand inventory, minimum stocking levels, open purchase orders, and lead times for parts and assemblies. It then produces a manufacturing schedule, which if followed, will allow your company to meet your customers' delivery times without a lot of last-minute overnight deliveries and overtime. With PCMRP, your company will lower costs and run much more efficiently. Well, let's get started. In this copy of PCMRP, I have three sales orders. Let's let look at one of the sales orders. I'll select Modules, Sales Orders, and Edit. I'll open the second sales order, 102. It is for 10 rear wheel assemblies that are due on 6-12-2012. A rear wheel assembly consists of two wheel assemblies and one rear axle. The rear wheel assembly has a lead time of 5 days and the wheel assembly has a lead time of 3 days. Each wheel consists of one bearing and 40 spokes. I'll hit the cancel button to get back to the main menu. Let's take a look at the bearings. I'll select Modules, Inventory, Edit, and type in the letters B E. Hit search and OK. Well we have five in stock, the minimum quantity level is set to 10, and the lead time to procure the part is two days. I'll press the OK button to return to the main menu. I have two purchase orders, modules, purchase, and edit. I'll open the purchase orders for the five bearings. It is due to arrive on 5-5-2012. Once again, I'll hit Cancel and Finished and return to the main menu. Hope you got all that, but don't worry. PCMRP has all the information it needs to produce a clean schedule. To generate an MRP, I will select Optional, Infinite Bucket, and Generate Action Items. I'll select Stores as one of the inventory areas that parts can be issued from. I'll select Open Sales Orders and Open Work Orders to drive demand. I could have even selected open sales quotes with probabilities, but I'll leave that for another time. I also want to schedule I also want the schedule to include labor requirements and minimum stocking levels. I will select recommended vendor recommend the vendor with the best price. Clicking on the OK button allows PCMRP to generate an action item database file containing all my buy, issue, make, and ship action items. This usually takes less than five minutes even at large companies, such as Square D in North Carolina. Ah, no errors. Always a good sign. If PCMRP found any errors, it would have given a list of errors, such as an invalid delivery date on a PO or a sales order. In that case, PCMRP will still generate an MRP, but it will not include those POs and sales orders. So if you had some errors, you edit the dates and regenerate the MRP. Let's click OK to return to PCMRP's main menu. Now for the rest of the day, perhaps for the next couple of days, purchasing and operations can print or display their schedules by selecting Optional, Infinite Bucket, and Print Action Item Reports. I'll select All, check all the includes, I'll sort by part number so that I can get a running total of my inventory levels by part number and date. I can select Display, Print, or send the report to PDF, ASCII, Excel, or DBF. I'll select Display and press the OK button. I'll click on the report to make it fit within the display window. Here you can see my bearing. There is an on-hand quantity of five as of today. I'll need to buy one for sales order 103 on 5-2 and it'll come in on 5-4. I will then ship it out on sales order 103 on 5-4. There's my outstanding PO, which is due to arrive on 5.5. PCMRP is going to use it to maintain the minimum stocking level of 10. Some more buys and issues for various sales and work orders. And on 6.4, we'll end up with 10 in stock. As you may recall, this is our minimum stocking level for the bearing. I'll click on the X box to return. This time I will only ask for the buy action items and click on the OK button. Once again, I will center on the report in the screen by clicking on the report itself. Now I can see just the buy action items. As you can see, we need to buy a total of 31 bearings. Okay, 
let's return by clicking on the Xbox at the top of the window. This time, let's select the push-pull report and click the OK button. Once again, I will center the report on the screen. The report instructs us to change the scheduled delivery date from 5-5 to 5-3 on the first PO, and that we should cancel the second PO. I'll click on the Xbox and cancel and cancel again to return back to the main menu. This time, let's click on Optional, Infinite Bucket, and Timeline. I'll scroll and select my sales order, 103. And that's for the 10 rear wheel assemblies. As you can see, we have a timeline at the top of the Gantt chart and buy, issue, make, and ship action items as we scroll down. A little something to impress your customers with. To return, I will click on the Xbox. Let's examine some of the more advanced features. Let's click on optional and infinite bucket. Here you can see that PCMRP can automatically create work orders, automatically create purchase orders, and it can automatically change the date required on dedicated sales, on dedicated work orders if your customer changes delivery dates on sales orders that do require dedicated work orders. Well, I hope that I've shown you how PCMRP can make your life easier in a manufacturing situation.